All right, hey guys, this is Justin from Venerate Studios. I'm in the middle of uh, relocating the studio to Athens. So house is a mess, I'm changing stuff up. I figured this would be a good idea to do a quick little thing. So, you know, you have these cheap acoustic panels and stuff like the foam. It's, it works well if, if you don't, if you're not able to make your own acoustic panels with like Owen Corn and Corning's um, 703 or any kind of rock wool or something. This kind of does something, but that's not the point of this video. The point is, this is a rented house that we've got. So what a lot of people use to put these on the wall, they'll use this kind of liquid tack or glue. Don't use that. Or you can have the spray, the spray foam to it. You can tack it to the wall. Don't use that either. I've used that before at the last place I was and it does tear up the drywall. It does tear the paint up. So there's a lot more to fix. So the easiest possible thing you can do, which you might not even be able to see it in the camera but what i did there's just one tiny tiny little needle like a little nail in it so that's all you have to do and when i set these up trying to get the diamond correct and i'll put a little bit of holes in it but the tiniest hole you put on the wall is absolutely nothing compared to what you would do if you stuck anything else on the wall i mean and it really is I can't, I bought it years ago. I mean, this is a little thing of, of little, little pins or nails. I don't know what they're called. They got a head to them, so I'm assuming it's like a baby nail. But I got this in the sewing section at Walmart. Um, see if the camera can focus on it. You can probably look up that online somewhere. But yeah, so that's, it's just that simple. So if I was going to put one in... So I'm making my diamond to have it where I want it. All you would do is you can kind of find the right little spot. Barely put it in there. You can barely see it, so it's not like it's going to mess up how it looks. But when you take it down, you can just use your finger to take it out. And more than likely, unless you have a really stickler of a landlord, the holes that this puts in the wall are smaller than the holes that you use when you're hanging a picture or a picture frame, so no one's gonna care. So, just a quick tip, and plus, look at this. So like we're moving all day today, and I had this some of these downstairs in the live room, and with this, I'm already done. And from a distance, you might not be able to tell from the camera that there's even, little pinholes in the wall. I mean, there's a few more, cause you know, when I first set this up a few years ago, messing around with it, this isn't the best example. But yeah, just one of these per one of those and whatever design you want, works out great and you're not messing up the wall. So you have a lot better chance of getting your deposit back. So, um, so thanks again. <laughs> Thanks again, guys, for watching. If you like this kind of content, let me know. Don't know what I'm putting on the channel just yet, but um, please leave a comment down below. Smash that thumbs up button, and um, tell me how you hang your stuff up on the wall. The actual panels I've got have anchors in the wall, so you can't get around that unless I figure out something else. But, um, but yeah, let me know, and thanks for watching.